why why it's a Haiti. Every couple of years, some things happen in the country, and people have to go suffer to those to all those things. They felt like they they, they felt like the God not with them because they they lost in the house, they lost in the people, would they, they lost in the loved ones. It was like it was real crazy. The house was turning around, like shaking, or or ready to collapse. And then after that, after that, I went outside and and see all the dust all the way up to all the houses that was collapsed down. How'd you feel? Uh, I was feel very scared and ready to run. Don't know where to go. And when you heard about this earthquake, what immediately came to mind? Uh, when the, uh, when when I found out that earthquake, uh, what come to mind is the same thing that I felt the same pain that I was feeling before when the wind was the first time happened. Somebody get, uh, shoot me a text and tell me that it was an earthquake in the province, and and I should try to contact my family, and it takes me hours to try and find out to connect with them, and then that's when I found out the house was collapsed, and I lost uh, auntie and also. Uh, with her, with her, with her son. What happened to them? Uh, well, there was in a funeral. There was a funeral in the church. When that happened, my brother was in the church. Too. My older brother was in the church too, and uh, my auntie got died and during the during the earthquake while she was inside with her with her son. And then my brother, my brother, got to survive, and then she got injured very bad sometimes too. How, how old was your aunt's son? My aunt's son was four. No, I haven't, I haven't speak to her because she's like uh, shocked. She's still shocked during the earthquake, and she's probably like see what happened to her sister and and her house that was collapsed down, and she's kind of worried about where she's going to stay during those times. Where is she sleeping right now? Right now, she's sleeping in the streets. Uh, she's sleeping in the streets without no tent, anything. Which I don't know if they have a sheet store so she could cover herself. I don't know. I feel that uh, when about this two times, that's uh, very sad. And every time that that happened, you have to lose somebody and lost what everything that they have. And people keep keep getting keep getting injured by that by that when that happened. It's it's kind of very difficult for me for uh, for, for me right now because of that. What happened? My family and my people are are. Are in need, and then I felt like it's time for me to be with them, with, with that moment, and trying to help them out with any any pos uh, any uh, possible possible way that I could help them. But you have to go to college too. Yes, I have to do college, but and I will have to sacrifice this week that I have to be uh, preparing for college and go trying to help them this week while while this week before I come before I can go to college.